no food, no entertainment, 232 passengers, seven and a half hours, all economy. It's called the turtle, and it's apparently, you're supposed to, you're supposed to, <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess it works, like technically, but. <laughs> Welcome to my flight review from Sydney to Rotonga during the night time and the return flight back to my home in Sydney, which is considerably longer. This is Rotonga Airport. It is very cute and very small. There's a Hawaiian Airbus there. And then we've also got two of the smaller planes from the local airline to get to the other islands. And here we are walking out to the Airbus A321LR, the Jetstar one. So you know that comfort is their top priority. And before we jumped on board, you could see a beautiful Air New Zealand Dreamliner on the tarmac. And of course, we just had the stairs because Rotonga doesn't have any jet bridges. Now this aircraft is set out in a 3-3 all economy configuration, which means that you and two other lucky people get to sit in these seats for the entire duration of the flight. Yeah, they're, they're very slow boarding today. There's like people coming out, they're like one person every hundred meters. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know why this is so slow. We're not gonna leave for like an hour because it's like a 200, 230 passenger aircraft. Like they're not gonna have enough people on board. You can't leave. <laughs> that, this is the fly review of the plane. So it's actually quite a nice, it's, it's like a new, seat here and you've got plenty of attachments for like all the different parts components right, so you can put your phone here my passport would be the phone stuff and then it can got an ipad and everything like that got a drink holder and a drink holder down here usb but it's very um the only problem is is just how deep seats are to see the deploy that that sort of thing and it's kind of it's kind of a bit ridiculous but and we try sleeping on it and see what it's like. And you know that this aircraft returns to its 29 inches of pitch, although they are slightly wider by 0.4 and they have huge bins upstairs so you can easily fit in your seven kilograms. And then we've got the entertainment, which you need to pay for for this flight per movie, which is always a lot of fun when you're stuck on a plane for seven and a half hours. I hope you downloaded some movies. And then of course, let's talk about the food. So here's me having one of the beef jerky bars, which was actually pretty good. It came with a nice glass of wine, although I've got a soda. And we also got some cheese and bickies. But there was a full food menu on the flight that sold out really fast because again, you're on a seven hour flight and they didn't actually have any extra food. You gotta wonder if they brought enough food over on the flight from Sydney in the morning. So my advice is to make sure you pre-book your meals. There was also an international chill kit that came with all of the items that you normally get for free. And then we were off the flight. And believe me when I tell you that flying seven hours is ridiculous. Personally, I think that Jetstar's really starting to push their luck with using these types of aircraft configurated all in economy for such a long route, but they need to overhaul the menu and give us something else for these longer haul flights if they're going to become the norm. Thanks for watching, and I give this flight a 2 out of 5.